Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be talking about the books that I ended up downloading in January of 2022. So I have 10 books to talk to you about today. I downloaded all of these either through Kindle Unlimited um, or they were free. I think there was one that I purchased for 99 cents. Um, if I'm not mistaken, but I think he used to get cards, so technically it was free. <laughs> so let's get into these books. The first book that I'm going to talk about is Filthy Beautiful Lies by Kendall Ryan. This is still available to download for free. Sophie Evans has been backed into a corner. With their sister's life hanging in the balance, the only choice is to claw her way out, even if that means selling her V-card to the highest bidder at an exclusive club. When Colton Drake takes her home, she quickly learns nothing is as it seems with this beautifully troubled man. Being with him possesses challenges she never expected and pushes her to want things she never anticipated. I haven't read a lot of Kendall Ryan, but like that sounds very interesting. So looking forward to that one. Uh, the book that I ended up uh, purchasing 99 cents for was Icebound by Tiffany Roberts, which I read this book in my Tiffany Roberts uh, reading vlog. It's still 99 cents. So this is only for like 40 pages. The novella in here is 30 and then they also have like a very short short story that's the rest of the book. So 10 pages. The main story though is about Anna. Um, so Anna knows the loss and pain that can be rocked by winter's harshness intimately. For years she's isolated herself refusing to let go of the guilt that consumes her until the winds of a blizzard bring a stranger to her door. With his compelling tales and heated kisses Anna fears she hasn't only opened her home to him but also her heart. If you want to know my thoughts about this book be sure to go watch that reading vlog that I will link below for you. Then I downloaded uh, The Red Zone by Amy Knight for free. Right now it is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $4.99. They say The Red Zone is the hardest place to score. But for me, those last 20 yards were my sweet spot. They didn't call me Lucas last minute Lucy Callahan for nothing. I was at the top of my game until life sacked me harder than any linebacker ever could. Losing my mom was devastating and left me as the sole person responsible for my little sister. Taking care of Ella and juggling my career was like playing the hardest game of my life. My only saving grace was Scarlet Knox, Ella's redheaded, no nonsense teacher. She loved Ella. She hated me. She thought I sucked at this parenting thing and she wasn't wrong. But whenever she was around, I got the same earth shattering, heart stopping feeling I did when I was only 20 yards away from the goal line. She made me feel like I was back in the red zone, a place I never fumbled until now. I've heard great things about this book. I've heard great things about Amy Knight. So I will hopefully love this one too. Then I downloaded Rivalry by Laura Lynn Page for free. It's not free anymore but you could get it off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $5.99. Edward Fessbender is a devil. He's my father's biggest rival. He takes what he wants and he bows to no one. And now Edward Fessbender wants me. I didn't expect to want him back. Having him is not in the cards. Not when a union with him could destroy my father. But that doesn't mean I can't play with him a little bit, except I've never played against such a ruthless opponent. Edward is cold and vicious and my blood has never run hotter. They say you should choose the devil you know, but I've always preferred long odds even if it'll get me slain. I really liked uh, a few of Laura Lynn Page's books so I immediately saw her name in a free book and so I downloaded it immediately. <laughs> Next I have The Beast Within by uh, Lisa Renee Jones. This is still available to download for free. Known only as Jad, he leads the Knights of White against these soulless Darkland beasts who took his wife and his life. Jag is immortal destined to live with the vengeance he feels in his heart and the dreams that haunt his soul. Sensual dreams of a woman, dreams that threaten to unleash the beast within. Karen Gibson is an innocent mortal, unwittingly thrown into this millennia old battle and, and unwillingly under Jack's protection. She and Jack are about to discover that they have met before in the dreams that they share. Neither trust the other, neither can survive alone. The secrets of those dreams may be what saves them if Jag can only accept it. At risk is Karen's life and Jag's mortal soul. I've read a contemporary by Lisa Renee Jones. I'm gonna be very interested to read like kind of like a paranormally fantasy-esque romance by her. I did want to mention a few books that I downloaded off Kindle Unlimited too. So I did download Viper by Naomi Lucas, which is the first book in the Naga Bride series. This was recommended to me by Jen from Book Refuge. This is an alien romance series that I have been looking forward to. I've just been procrastinating <laughs> reading it. I don't know why I do it but I do. So yeah, this is available off Kindle Limited, or you can purchase it for how much? Uh, $3.99. <laughs> long we have been alone, without brides, without females to warm us during the long nights, without sweet mates. But we see them from afar, brides that could be ours, kept away 
from us by walls and weapons, females we long for greatly, obsessively, human females. And the one with red hair, I want her. I saw her first. I will fight to the death for her. She is mine. So we'll come together and make an exchange with their men that will benefit us all. After that, to the winner goes the spoils. Let the hunt begin. But the redheaded female is mine. Ah, oh, that sounds so good. I really want to read it like, right now, actually. I always say that and then like I go to read something and then I pick something else. Anyway, um, Jen, I will read this soon, I promise, and then we can gush about it together. <laughs> then I downloaded Taking Charge by Rebecca Barber for free. However, it's not free anymore, but you can purchase it for $2.99 or it is available off of Kindle Unlimited. Surviving a shattered heart and determined to put her ex behind her, Peyton packs up her life and heads for a small town to open her own bakery. Her plan is to focus on getting her new business up and running the last thing on her mind is opening herself up to another relationship. Bo McIntyre is having the time of his life, living in the city, partying with friends, and taking advantage of being single. One desperate phone call from his brothers changed everything and has him returning to the family farm to step up as the eldest sibling. Desperate to blow off some steam, Bo heads to the local bar for a night out, only for the curvy baker to catch his attention. Bo doesn't expect to fall. Peyton doesn't want to be chased. Can they put their past behind them to allow the fireworks between them to take a chance to ignite? Oh, this sounds so good. I think this might be set in Australia because the author is Australian. Um, I'm excited. I love a good baking related romance. So hopefully this is one I can love too. Next I have Coming Out on Top by Nora Phoenix. This is a book I downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited. Um, but if you want to purchase it, you can purchase it for $4.99. Quentin is searching for something. Respect, answers, his identity. Most of all, he's searching for a man who will let him be in charge, despite the fact he looks like an elf. But all that will have to wait right now because he's searching for shelter after getting stranded in the middle of nowhere, New York, with a massive snowstorm about to hit. He finds his unexpected host in Mac, a man the whole town seems to hate. Mac has secrets, but so does Quentin. Sparks fly between them, but can it lead to more when Mac is twice his size, a lot older, and very innocent? And when Mac can't leave and there's no way for Quentin to stay? It says that this book is a steamy male romance with an age gap, a dash of kink, a ton of snow, and a gentle giant. That sounds really fun. So that's why I downloaded it off of Kindle Unlimited. <laughs> Next, I have The Beast of Blackmore by Mila Vane. I downloaded this through Libby. So this is free for me. If you want to purchase it on Amazon or Kindle or whatever, it's available for $2.99. This is a prequel to A Heart of Blood and Ashes in that series. Um, so I've actually never read the summary before, but uh, because I just downloaded it because it was in the same series. So let's read it. It's very short. It says, Dive into the world of beasts and barbarians in this prequel to the exhilarating Gathering of Dragons series by Mila Vane. A warrior princess must tame the beast of Blackmoor to earn a place among her people. When she arrives in Blackmoor, however, she finds a land cursed by a demon and ruled by an evil warlord and discovers that the beast isn't a monster, but a barbarian warrior who intends to do some taming himself. I'm so excited. This is like 150 pages. Uh, fairly short compared to the other books in the series. So if you have Libby, be sure to check out their eBooks too. Okay, do it. <laughs> and then the last book I want to talk about is, I think it's pronounced Tron by Lena Gray and Juno Wells. This is an alien romance I downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited. If you want to purchase it, you can purchase it for $2.99. On Earth, 12 female college students board a starship for a year of interstellar education. Crashing on a primitive planet inhabited by barbarian aliens was not on their itinerary. When the sky crackles with light, sounds and colors, a small wingless flyer soars to the ground. I pray they contain blessings that will save our tribe. A small shapely female emerges from one of the flyers and I know in my heart she is mine. The gods have answered my prayers, sending salvation from the heavens. My mate has arrived in the wingless flyer and she is the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. Tron is everything I've ever wanted in a man. He's fierce, handsome, and protective and he worships the ground I walk on. He's also huge, scaled, and alien who makes my heart race and my body tremble. When we're attacked by a rabid pack of wolf bats, he's ready to sacrifice his own life to save mine. I'd be a fool to push Tron away, but staying with him means giving up the only life I've ever known. This sounds great, okay? <laughs> the, the way, the reason I downloaded this is because I'm trying to find good alien romance books that remind me of Ruby Dixon and Ice Cut Barbarian. And so I literally just searched in the engine bar on Amazon, alien barbarians. And so, uh, 
this is an alien barbarian book so hopefully i love this one i really want to i i hope i do anyways there you have it those are all the books that i ended up downloading in january please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to or if you've made it this far in the video leave me an alien, alien emoji because we just talked about an alien romance book <laughs> but anyways thank you so so much for watching i will see you soon in my next one bye y'all